Greetings from Hack Lab. It is 2.03 in the morning. Uh, I've been working on this circuit again. Because it turns out that it hasn't been charging as efficiently as it should have been. It's only been taking about half the power it should have been. Because uh, when you do that, this green light comes on. Um, but that's not the right modes for charging the battery. We need a comp whoops, nearly fell on top of me. Um, we need a constant current mode, and uh, that's only activated once the wheels reach a certain speed. So what you have to do is you have to get it up to speed and then plug in the battery. Um, obviously, I can't do that by, ha by hand, so we've been using a special kind of switch called a MOF set, and that turns on after a certain voltage has been reached, which will happen once the wheel gets up to speed. Um, that hasn't worked. <laughs> I don't know exactly why. Uh, we're going to work on it tomorrow. Um, Zeke's been helping me with this a bit, um, although he left a, not too long ago. Don't blame him, though. It's my project, not his. Um, can't pay the guy, but luckily he accepts chocolate cereal as currency, so uh, this is empty now. Um, but yeah, uh, just have to hope for the best. Uh, we think the battery's been charging. Not sure the LEDs aren't too uh, reliable because we're charging directly into the battery and we're not going through the LED circuitry. Um, in the meantime, I've been using this today. It's a portable power bank and it's got an AC outlet so you can plug anything you plug into the wall basically. I've got a little adapter. Yeah, so you can just, that's basically a portable socket that like you'd see in the wall. Um, and you can plug pretty much anything there. So I've been plugging the soldering iron in to uh, solder all of this together, um, which has worked. Uh, <laughs> we did try and uh, take a look at this inside uh, just to see if we could power this the same way we can power this. And it looks like it's possible, but we're going to try and get this working first. So we'll, we'll leave that there. Um, what I did receive today in the post was my old phone. Um, this is, well, I think it was my second phone I ever had. Um, and I've got to say, um, I, I, I really like it. Um, definitely, uh, I haven't, definitely haven't liked my, the, the phones afterwards as much as I like this one. Um, so it's great to have it back, actually. Uh, one of the things I really liked was the ringtone. I thought I'd uh, show it to you. Here you go. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, but the um, one of the good things about this was the battery life. It would last forever. It would last, um, well, no, not forever. It would last like a week. But um, I remember my first phone, the Nokia, the battery would last like a month. And it would be a surprise when you had to and you have to charge it. Um, and it just got worse from there, really. Um, but yeah, for, um, a good mate of mine, Karim, this was, this was his old phone and he gave this to me. So uh, shout out to Karim, thanks for this. <laughs> it's coming really useful, actually. Uh, I can now text and make, play, make calls with that. So I don't have to use up the battery on this phone that I'm using for, um, just for vlogs and um, blogs now, basically. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's actually a lot less stressful um, not having a smartphone. Because with a smartphone you have to, like, you're basically tied to it. Like, you, you get, like, emails and uh, notifications from social media and stuff throughout the day. And, like, it's just constantly there and you're just constantly, like, thinking about it. But with this, um, like, a lot of that's taken away. Like, like with email, about 99% of emails, like you don't even need and like they're not even important and then that other one percent there must be like another way to be to be notified about that i think emails are a pretty, pretty pointless thing um and yeah i mean there's been um ceos of companies who have switched from their smartphones back to uh, sort of dumb phones just because um they, they think it's less stressful and I'd, I'd agree with them um 
And I had from that I had that from a book I read called The Winter of Our Disconnect, and it's a really good read. I really recommend it. It's by Susan Morshart. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Susan. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it it's really um, really entertaining, really witty, and really um, you, you learn a lot from it as well about like how technology affects all sorts of things like um, sleeping patterns. Um, Uh, how we interact with one another, uh, our expectations of each other. Um, it's about a family who gave up technology for six months. Um, and I think that's pretty radical. Um, and it was a learning experience for them and a learning experience for me just reading about it. And they actually gave up electricity, I believe, for the first few weeks. And then for the next like, five months, they, they went without technology. Before, uh, and... Um, yeah, um, that, that was partly in the inspiration for this challenge. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll write the name and author in the description and stuff so you can search it up if you like. But um, I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's all I've got for today, though. Uh, so, um, bye.